So we are back to building today. We're also back to hay. As you see, we have some hay behind us. We're bailing today, we're raking today, we're cutting today. We're kind of doing it all today, but that's not gonna stop us from building a new trailer for the kids' tractors. Let me go show you what we got. So we got the kids' tractors here. The last time we played with them, they got to haul each other around. They had fun pretending this one was broken, using this one to haul it around, and that kind of inspired my next trailer idea. I'm sure as most of you know, you've seen a lot of our videos and stuff. There's something that Hudson and Holly love to do. They love to fix stuff. They love to fix their tractors, work on like the real tractors, things like that. So the next trailer I'm gonna build is gonna be a little hybrid kind of uh, work off of this thing right here. So this is probably one of our biggest trailers we have. We use it as like a Nerf gun turret. We mounted a bucket and a seat and this, we had a <laughs> Nerf gun hanging from there. Kind of a nice little Nerf gun turret trailer, but we're not gonna use that anymore. And I wanna turn this into a tool trailer. So obviously get rid of this stuff. But I wanna maybe mount a toolbox, maybe make a little spot that's gonna hold shovels, rakes, things like that. Bunch of tools, things that Hudson and Holly can use to go fix tractors, work on tractors, things like that. So I'm excited for that and I wanna start that right now. So I got Hudson a toolbox here that we're gonna mount to the trailer. I got him some of his own tools and we're gonna put some new tools on there as well. Maybe I'll get some kid style shovels. I thought about taking this off and I feel like I can use that for something. I'm not sure what yet, but I'm gonna think about it. Maybe we can mount the shovels hanging up, kind of like that. I'm gonna leave that there because I feel like that might be handy for something. But first things first, let's get the bucket off of here. Ah! Oh, I could still use that for something. I better not break that. So I wanna add a winch system kind of like this right here. We could turn this into a winch on their tractor to pull anything maybe over here onto their trailer or lift it up to work on it, things like that. But with it being on the back, if I was to add weight, I'm gonna pull on this, tries to raise up that. So I think I'm gonna have to chop this down maybe add the winch system up front and maybe find a way to put the toolbox up here. So we still have all this room to maybe pull tractors or something on there. Also some room to work. So I think we need to cut this off and move it up front. But I still want it to be in the air because you can kind of utilize it to pull something on the trailer, but you can also use it to lift something up if you just need to work on it or, you know, little fun things like that. So I'm gonna use the same pole, I think, because I want it up. It just can't be on the back of the trailer, I don't think. So let's move it to the front and then maybe find a good spot for the toolbox. All right, so we got the pole moved from the back to the front. Like I said, we need to wait in the front, we can have it in the back. We've got this now welded on here, which I love. Look at that, works perfect. We'll be able to pull anything we want onto this trailer or up in the air. It's not super high but it's gonna work just fine. My only issue now is where do I put the toolbox? I don't really wanna put it, I guess maybe the front, front center might be best because sides, if we're putting on a tractor, it's not gonna fit. Obviously the back is not the spot. I thought about right here, but the problem is this is where the kids are gonna stand and operating this. I mean, I guess they could kind of stand on the side like this and do it like that but I feel like they're gonna wanna stand there. That's my only worry about putting the toolbox there. All right, I feel like that's the spot. I haven't screwed it down yet. It's small enough where it's not gonna be too much in the way, but I just don't think on the sides it's gonna work. And that one spot where the triangle is, I just feel like the kids are gonna wanna stand there when they're operating this thing. So I think let's screw that down and find what tools Hudson is gonna want in there. Curious to know, what tools do you guys think Hudson's gonna want in there? I'm gonna throw what I think, but I know I'm gonna be missing something. He's gonna get mad at me. If you can let me know down below what it is, I'll be very, very surprised. So give it your guess. What random tool is he gonna want? I already know he's gonna want hammer and he's gonna want screwdrivers and he's gonna want pliers and all the normal things and probably even a tape measure. I got him a little tape measure, but what weird tool is he gonna want? I already know I'm gonna miss something, but let's see what we can gather and start throwing some things in here. All right, so we got the obvious ones. Tape measure, hammer, screwdrivers, pliers. What are we missing? There's so much to choose from. We already have screwdrivers. Ooh, I know what he wants. He's gonna want a crescent wrench. But ah, we really, ah, we use these so much. But I feel like this is gonna be best for him. This is kind of a universal tool that we use for everything. We like to use these for the tires whenever they don't fully tighten, they start coming unloose. This is good to have, we can tighten them up. So that's good for that and it's gonna be good for much more. So I'm gonna be looking for this in like a day or two whenever I need it on the farm and it's gonna be in there. He loves the sledgehammer. I just don't think we can make that fit. Oh, shovels. 
I forgot about the shovel. We gotta try and find a way to make the shovel fit on there too. Now that we got that winch though, it's gonna be a little difficult. I also wanna add string to the winch and test it out. I don't think we're gonna be able to make the shovel work. I mean, I guess we could probably set it down maybe? Something like that and find a way to like secure it maybe? That would work, it's just if we're gonna haul a trailer. Actually, a tractor still might fit on that, even with the shovel on there. So we might be able to fit like a shovel, a hoe, maybe even like a hay rake or something on the other side. This might actually work. So let's test the thing out. I think for the shovels, what I'm gonna do is not try and put the adult size shovels. I'll get some smaller kid shovels, maybe like two foot shovels or something like that. Smaller, we'll find a way to like mount them on there with their own brackets and stuff. Like along the side, it'll look nice. But let's go test this thing out, see if it works. So we got it ready to go. We got our toolbox, we got it unraveled. We're gonna pretend the green tractor is broken. Luckily for us, we've got a winch with a clip. We'll just put it on the axle down there and it's good to go. Now let's give her a nice tug. And does it work? Maybe, hopefully. All right. The problem I think is gonna be when it gets to the back of the trailer. We might have to use somebody to like raise it up. But for the most part, it works pretty good. See, now is we're in trouble. There's nothing I can do here. The only thing we can do here is maybe just raise up the tires just a little bit like that. It's okay, maybe I can build little ramps on the back. That's something maybe we can improvise. But it works pretty good. So it turns out after all, the toolbox isn't even in the way. I could have gotten a bigger one and it would have been fine because when it's fully raised up, the tractor is off the ground and it fits perfect. Even the long one with the lo loader on the front works fine. I think the kids are going to love this thing. Looks great. So I know the kids are going to love that, but I have got to get to the field. We have 50 acres on the ground. Uh, we haven't even done anything to it yet. So I got to get started. If you guys want to see some hay stuff though, let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Maybe I'll bring back some of the like the actual farming hay stuff on this channel which might be fun and a little different, but we're not gonna stop building things because I love that and the kids love that. So guys, until next time, please, bye.